Hello, my name is Dr Zoe Thomas and I'm a historian based at the University of Birmingham and I'm here to talk to you about my new book, Women Art Workers and the Arts and Crafts Movement. This book offers a new history of the English and Arts and Crafts Movement by placing the activities of the network of women art workers at the heart of the story. I'm really interested in how women constructed professional artistic lives in the late 19th and early 20th century. And one of the fundamental claims of this book is that we can only really fully understand that by looking across a wide range of work cultures in ways that have been little discussed before. So women art workers who worked in fields ranging from metalwork, textile design, woodwork, um, illustration and painting. They together claim their new roles as art workers, a term they often use, by looking and working across different entrepreneurial, intellectual, artistic and professional cultures. In this book I trace their activities together and alone in a range of different spaces which make up the five chapters of the book. So that's their guild halls and clubhouses, their exhibitions, their homes and studios, their workshops, and finally, their activities in the city during the First World War and during the suffrage campaigns. Another major claim that this book makes is to sort of dismantle the idea of the arts and crafts as a Victorian, a late Victorian movement, and to move away from focus on household names such as C.R. Ashby and William Morris to look at the activities of a much wider range of different women. Often barred from joining the major male-only art organisations of their day, they played a really important role in democratising the movement well into the 1930s. So if you're interested in questions of work, gender, expertise, collaboration and arts and crafts, this is the book for you to buy.